really hard for me to choose a favorite variety for the 2019 catalog. We have so many cool things that we've brought to this year. But my, if I had to choose, my number one favorite is gonna have to be the butterfly pea. This is an incredible edible ornamental. The vines are vigorous and they're prolific. They're covered in profusions of these beautiful indigo blooms. This isn't just something that's nice to look at in your garden while it is gorgeous. This is an incredible medicinal crop. Um, the flowers are brewed into a tea, typically, um, in their native Southeast Asia. And that tea is said to have calming effects stronger than that of chamomile. It's also used to color food. So it's not just for making tea. This is actually traditionally used to make a beautiful blue rice in places like Thailand. Um, so they'll make sweet dessert rice in a beautiful blue color. It lends its colors to baked goods as well. And another really fun thing that I think kids really enjoy is when you make this beautiful blue tea, all you have to do is add just a squeeze of citrus, like lemon or lime, and it turns the, the tea bright pink automatically it's like magic it's so beautiful i want you guys to have fun with this plant i want you to add it to your gardens because it adds just this beautiful tropical feel and it's so carefree and again this is a true legume so you're getting beauty you're getting versatility and it's also going to actually improve your soil quality because it's a naturally nitrogen fixing plant rocky so this is one of the more unusual, exciting new heirlooms for the 2019 season. It looks like a snake, but it is not. I assure you, I'm totally safe here. This is actually a type of gourd. Um, it's so funky. This one happened to be growing along the ground, and that's why it took on this super strange shape. If you grow these on a trellis, you're going to get straight fruits. But this is actually called a python snake bean. Um, it's not a true bean. It's most closely related to a gourd, but it's eaten like a bean in China. Um, this is a very popular Chinese vegetable, and it has quickly become one of my favorite fresh eating vegetables. Uh, you might think from the looks of this fruit that it would be tough, um, that it would be fibrous and uh, not so great for fresh eating, and at the very best, you'd have to cook it to soften it up. Unbelievably, even at this size, this is an incredibly tender crispy fruit it actually tastes so much like a green bean mixed with a cucumber it's unbelievable it's got kind of a green pepper snap to it when you bite into it so this is an unusual culinary addition to your garden they look so cool the the fruits just drip from the vines and they kind of grow every which way kids our our kids at baker creek all the kids that visited the garden were so delighted by this vegetable slash terrified it does look like a snake sometimes but i just love them because they are so incredibly tender refreshing crisp so um maybe you find that you're in your hot summer area by the middle of the summer your beans are getting tired your cucumbers are kind of petering out well maybe it's time that you bring the snake bean into your garden because this one is so heat tolerant it's so uh, versatile and it's really going to add like a nice crunch and snap um, when things are really starting to toughen up with the hot summer suns and one thing that i really love is you can neglect this fruit i mean you can eat them when they're this big or you can allow them to grow to this big and they're still going to be tender crispy um, they're fantastic for stir fry i stir fried them the other day with just a bit of ginger and lime they were fantastic um, but you can also eat them raw this is not a vegetable that you're going to have to try to love. This is one that you're going to uh, not be able to live without.